The clavichord has the simplest action of any of the keyboard instruments. It has but one moving part, the key. When you press the key down, the back part rises up, and a tangent or brass blade hits the string, puts it in motion, but also defines its speaking length. The string only vibrates from the tangent to the bridge. What keeps the key from going any further is the tension of the string. If I play too hard, it stretches the string and makes it go sharp. I can use that expressively, however, to create a vibrato known as Bebung in German, which is a very beautiful expressive device. Because the tangent defines the speaking length of the string, it's possible to hit the same string one note later and get a different pitch. That's actually the same string being hit there to be C, being hit there to be C sharp. That means, however, I cannot get both notes at once. Or A fretted clavichord like this one, a double fretted clavichord, has separate strings for all of the natural notes. Those are all independent, but the sharp notes are coming from the same strings as the natural notes. For that reason, it's not possible to play certain pieces of music, highly chromatic music, or pieces written in remote key signatures. This Bach fugue in F minor, for example, cannot be played on the fretted clavichord. The collision between the A flat and the G means that that sequence cannot be performed as written. This is an unfretted clavichord. It has the same key mechanism as the fretted clavichord, with the key going down, tangent hitting the string, but there is a separate set of strings for each note. There can be no restriction in the music played on such an instrument because every note is independent. Thus, the passage played earlier can be played with complete independence. Unfretted clavichords belong to the later period of clavichord construction. They require a larger case because there's a separate string for every note, a separate pair of strings. And because there are so many strings pressing on the soundboard, they have a slightly different sound from unfretted clavichords. The sound can be more silvery, whereas the sound of a fretted clavichord is sometimes more direct. Both fretted and unfretted clavichords coexisted during the first period of clavichord construction, and both offer different musical advantages.